Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. Plagiarism poses a significant problem that can result in severe repercussions for writers, students, and professionals. Although many individuals grasp the fundamental notion of plagiarism, several distinct forms may not be readily apparent. Throughout this video, we'll delve into the different types of plagiarism, discuss how to prevent them, and emphasize the importance of upholding academic integrity in today's digital era. Let's get started. So, first, what is plagiarism? The concept of plagiarism often brings to mind the act of completely replicating someone else's work. Nonetheless, plagiarism encompasses more than just straightforward duplication. It encompasses the unacknowledged utilization of another person's concepts, ideas, or language, regardless of intent. Plagiarism entails using or imitating the thoughts and language of another author without permission and presenting them as one's own creation. The 10 types of plagiarism you need to know. 1. Clone. Plagiarism. The act of cloning plagiarism is also known as identical copying. It involves one individual replicating another person's work without any alterations and then asserting it as their own. 2. Remix. Plagiarism. The remix type of plagiarism involves gathering information from different sources and combining it into a single document, then presenting it as their own work. 3. Control plus C. Plagiarism. When a written document contains a large amount of text taken from a single source without any changes, this is known as the type of plagiarism similar to using Control plus C. 4. Hybrid. Plagiarism. The hybrid form of plagiarism involves copying and organizing perfectly cited source materials into a new document without providing proper citation. 5. Find-replace plagiarism. The act of substituting the frequently used terms and expressions in the duplicated material without modifying the core document is termed as find-and-replace, a form of plagiarism. 6. Recycle plagiarism. Self-plagiarism is another term for recycling. It involves using content from one's own previous work without giving the appropriate credit. 7. Mashup. Plagiarism. The act of combining written content from multiple sources without providing proper citations is known as a form of plagiarism called a mashup. 8. 404 error. Plagiarism. If a written document is copied from multiple sources without proper citation, it is considered a form of plagiarism known as a mashup. The 404 error type of plagiarism is the eighth most significant. In this type, an individual compiles a document by copying from different sources and presenting it as a single document with citations. However, if the citations are incorrect or refer to non existent resources, it falls under the category of 404 plagiarism. 9. Aggregator plagiarism. Aggregator plagiarism refers to a situation where a written document contains all the necessary citations but lacks original work. 10. Retweet plagiarism. If the written document appears flawless with correct citations, but still bears similarities to the original text in terms of structure or wording, it constitutes retweet plagiarism. The effects of plagiarism. Plagiarism has more than just ethical implications. It can lead to significant outcomes. 1. Penalties in academia. Ranging from failing grades to being kicked out of school. 2. Professional ramification. Losing employment. Harming one's reputation. Facing legal consequences. 3. Personal consequences losing credibility and trust tips to avoid plagiarism 1. ensure to thoroughly comprehend the original document through multiple readings before commencing the explanation 2. avoid replicating any content from the original document 3. provide appropriate references for all sources used such as books journals websites and videos 4. when citing online sources Ensure to include the accessed date and correct URL in the reference. 5. 
quotations and definitions should be cited verbatim without any alterations. 6. Always include a references section when composing academic papers. 7. Double check all citations prior to submitting your document. 8. Lastly, obtain a plagiarism report from a reputable plagiarism detection tool to verify the originality of your work. Keep in mind that being original doesn't prohibit you from expanding on others' ideas. It simply involves acknowledging the source and incorporating your distinctive viewpoint into the discussion. I hope that this information will be beneficial for academic writers in understanding the 10 typical forms of plagiarism and the level of their seriousness. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.